you are currently part of, have been part of, or are considering joining a, either a fraternity or sorority. Well, I will hope to change that, at least for those of you who are not considering at the moment. Just so you know, I am not part at the moment of any other, any fraternity, but I am considering joining one next year. Just want you to know that. Now, I'm going to uh, tell you about what fraternity sororities are, the pros and cons of being a part of one, the um, ones that are here on campus, and about rush season. And then I will try, yeah, then try to convince you to join. I'll now start talking to you about what Greek life is. Those of you who may not know, a fraternity sorority is an organization generally on a college campus that unites people generally of the same gender under some common ideal. According to cms.edu, fraternities and sororities have been a part of college campuses since the 18th century, and the organizations are called Greek because of the Greek letters generally used in their names, which symbolize their ideals and values. Now, for those of you just so you know, not while most fraternity sororities are both for males and females, there are such things as co-ed fraternities, but not co-ed sororities. I don't know why though. According to Albany.edu, generally fraternity sororities are based on the four pillars, that being brother and sisterhood, scholarship being academic excellence and abilities, um, philanthropy, which is giving back to the community, as well as leadership, promoting leadership in its members. I will now talk to you about the pros and cons of becoming part of a fraternity or sorority, respectively. A fraternity sorority can act like a second family or, or a second support group for those people who might be farther away from their family or living on campus. They can act as people who can help you with matters either in schooling or in other matters, such as just finding friends. According to Paul Fox, my father, when he told me about his experience in a, in a fraternity, he stated that when you're in a place where it's difficult to meet people at first, a fraternity was a great starter for meeting people. Those of you who might be like me and are not a very social person, that can be an incredible thing to have. However, as has been said in your previous speech, fraternity stories are not all good. Especially things like fraternities, there is a common stereotype, as Martha mentioned, about drugs and alcohol and other things, which have given it a bad reputation. And according to teen advice, sexism is generally rampant throughout the Greek system. However, of course, this does not apply to all fraternities. I don't know about the one on the campus, I've not heard of them, so I can't say. But this is a general trend that has been seen. I've so far told you about the pros and cons, and I will leave it from there up to you, Marcia, to decide. But now I'll tell you about what you can do here on campus. According to MSOE.edu, there are three sororities on campus the Alpha Omega Epsilon, Lambda Zeta Nu, and Phi Delta Chi. I don't know much about them. I leave it to you girls here to decide which one you want. It's all up to you. I don't know what makes them unique. Although, apparently, Lamb is new. Mm -hmm. is apparently pretty good, apparently. <laughs> there are also four fraternities here on campus, including Delta Sigma Phi, Sigma Phi Delta, and yes, they are just mixed up with letters, Tau Sigma Nu, and Triangle, which is unique in that it does not have a Greek left symbol for it. These are the opportunities here on campus that you can um, pick between. And I will now start talking to you about rush season and what it is. Rush season, basically, is the period during the school year where fraternities and sororities allow people to, to enter them, to become pledges and to become members of, of <coughs> their organization. Now then, Generally, they are during the fall quarter, right after summer. However, according to how stuff works, there are many, many fraternities and sororities also hold rush in the spring, especially those that have not fulfilled their quota during the fall rush period. So, 
currently you are not able to do it, but hopefully by next year you might have decided that you want to join as a fraternity and sorority and will use that opportunity. And if not, you can yet again wait for reports of that year till spring quarter and have found out what fraternity or sorority you would like to join and have then been able to make a decision. So far, I have told you about what fraternities and sororities are. I talked to you about the pros and cons of joining them. I talked about the fraternities and sororities that are here on campus. And I told you about rush season and your opportunities to join and make and play some pledges. I have tried my best so far to convince you to join. I have given my reasons that will make the fraternity and sororities good and helpful. And also given you some of the bad points of them. Well, at least many of them are still these stereotypes and may not apply to all of them, especially ones on campus. That's all. This is an engineering school. I hope that I've been able to help you um, decide or make a decision, those of you who have not been considering. And after hearing my speech, how many of you have really been given any reason to start considering now? Oh, that makes me happy then.